A group of strangers is enjoying a leisurely hike in the woods when the sky darkens and a massive thunderstorm rolls in. Things take an unexpected turn as they huddle under a tree, trying to stay dry and make sense of the situation. The group members begin to feel a strange energy coursing through their bodies with each crack of thunder and bolt of lightning. It's a sensation, unlike anything they've ever felt before, similar to an electric shock but more intense and all-encompassing. As the storm intensifies, the energy builds until each member of the group is surrounded by a bright, crackling aura of light. They appear to be from a science fiction film, glowing with otherworldly energy as the storm reaches its climax. They stand there for a few moments, engulfed by this mysterious force, until the storm dies down and the energy fades away. As they reflect on what has just occurred, the group realizes they have been endowed with supernatural abilities. Each member possesses a unique ability, ranging from telekinesis to super strength to fire control. However, as they adjust to their new abilities, they realize they are not alone. Others have been affected by the storm, and some of them may not have the best of intentions. They must learn to control their powers and work as a team as they band together to figure out what's going on. The group is having a wild and exhilarating experience, full of ups and downs as they try to navigate this new and uncertain world. But one thing is certain. They will never forget that fateful day when they were caught in the middle of a freak lightning storm that forever altered their lives. As the group members begin to accept their newfound abilities, they quickly realize that controlling them is easier said than done. Each member possesses a distinct ability, ranging from telekinesis to super strength to elemental control. However, as they try to harness their powers, they discover that they frequently act erratically and put them in perilous situations. They initially try to conceal their abilities, fearful of how the world will react to people with superhuman abilities. However, as they begin to experiment with their abilities, they realize that they won't be able to keep them hidden indefinitely. If they are to survive in a world that does not understand them, they must learn to control their powers and adapt to their new lives. It's a challenging and frequently frustrating process. There are ten failures for every small victory. They wrestle with their abilities, attempting to strike a balance between control and letting go. They make mistakes and learn from them, but the process is slow and laborious. But they have each other through it all. They learn to rely on one another for support and direction, forming a bond that extends beyond their common abilities. They form a family, united by their shared experience and the realization that they are not alone in this world. As they adjust to their new lives, they begin to realize the full extent of their abilities. They could put them to good use, making a difference in the world. As they face new challenges and threats, they begin to collaborate, using their abilities to fight for what is right and protect those in need. It's a bumpy road, but as they continue to grow and learn, they realize they have the power to make a difference in the world. And as time passes, they grow more confident in their abilities, ready to face whatever challenges come their way. The group realized they couldn't do it alone as they struggled to control their newfound abilities. They needed to band together in order to share and learn from one another's experiences. As a result, they agreed to meet in a quiet area of the park, away from prying eyes. Each member was greeted with a mixture of curiosity and apprehension as they arrived. They were all aware that they were in the same boat, but the prospect of meeting others with similar abilities was intimidating. What if they weren't compatible? What if their abilities clashed? When they sat down to compare notes, they quickly realized that they had more in common than they had realized. They told stories about their abilities, including how they came to be and how they struggled to control them. They laughed at each other's mistakes and commiserated about the difficulties of adjusting to their new lives. But it wasn't all fun and games. They realized they were not alone as they spoke. There were others like them out there, people who had been changed by the same lightning storm. They were shocked and terrified, but also relieved to learn that they were not alone. They made plans to find and connect with these other people as they talked. They understood that there was safety in numbers, and that by working together, they could learn to control their abilities and defend themselves against those who would seek to harm them. It was a watershed moment for the group. They entered the meeting as strangers, but they left as more. They were a team, 
united by their common experiences and a desire to protect themselves and others like them. As they walked out of the park, they felt a renewed sense of hope. They were aware that they had a long journey ahead of them, but they were also aware that they were not alone. They had each other, and they would face whatever challenges came their way together. Training Sessions As the days passed and the looming threat became more pressing, the group realized it was time to begin training. They couldn't afford to wait any longer. They needed to sharpen their skills and learn to work as a team if they were to face the danger that lay ahead. As a result, they began to train. They began small, honing their abilities in safe, controlled environments. They learned to concentrate their minds and control their abilities, gradually but steadily increasing their strength and control. They began to work on their teamwork as they trained. They learned to communicate effectively, trust one another, and collaborate in order to achieve their objectives. They practiced fighting together, learning to use their combined powers to defeat opponents and protect one another. It was not an easy task. They encountered their share of setbacks and frustrations, but they persisted. They understood that their lives and the lives of others depended on their ability to work as a team and fully utilize their powers. As they trained, they formed stronger bonds with one another. They discussed their fears and doubts, as well as their hopes and dreams. They laughed and joked together, but when things got tough, they cried and comforted one another. During their training, they began to realize the full extent of their abilities. They tried out new techniques and strategies, discovering new and exciting ways to put their skills to use. But no matter how strong they became, they never forgot the danger that lay ahead. They were aware that they were up against an adversary unlike any they had previously encountered and that they needed to be prepared for whatever came their way. As a result, they increased their training efforts. They pushed themselves to their breaking points, determined to be the best. They knew the stakes were high, but they were willing to go to any length to protect themselves and others like them. They knew they were creating something special as they worked and trained, a team of individuals with extraordinary abilities ready to face whatever challenges came their way. With each passing day, they grew stronger and more confident, ready to confront the unknown enemy who threatened them all. When the group finally learned the identity of their unseen enemy, the sun had just begun to set over the horizon. It had been a long and arduous journey to get here, and tensions were high as they gathered around the campfire to plan their next move. But as they listened to their leader's words, their faces fell into shock and disbelief. The enemy we face is none other than our own government, he said, his voice low and solemn. The subsequent silence was deafening. It was as if the air in the room had been sucked out, leaving everyone gasping for air. They were prepared to face hostile creatures, perilous terrain, and extreme weather conditions. But it was almost unbearable to think that the very people who were supposed to protect them were now their enemies. The gravity of the situation took a few moments to sink in. The group looked around, their expressions a mix of shock, anger, and confusion. How could this be possible? How could their own government betray them? The leader sighed heavily as he noticed the questions in their eyes. I realize this is a lot to take in, he admitted. But we must face reality. The government has been working against us, trying to silence us and keep us from discovering the truth about what's really going on. A collective nod went around the circle. They had all suspected that something was amiss, that there was more to the story than what they had been told. But the reality was still difficult to accept. So what do we do now? asked one of the group members. The leader took a deep breath and turned to face each of them. We're going to keep going, he said. We will fight no matter what. We cannot allow them to win. We cannot allow them to silence us. We must keep moving forward no matter how difficult it becomes. There were nods of agreement from everyone in the circle, but the unease remained. How could they possibly trust anyone now? How could they be certain that their own comrades would not turn on them? The leader seemed to sense their reservations. We stick together, he stated emphatically. We keep an eye on each other. We have complete faith in one another. We may be up against a formidable foe, but we are far more powerful together than they could ever imagine. 
So the group continued on, their resolve strengthened by the discovery of their true adversary. It would be a difficult road ahead, full of danger and uncertainty, but they were determined to see it through. They were not going to be silenced. They were not going down without a fight. They were going to fight no matter what. The big day had finally arrived. The group had been preparing for this moment for months, and now it was finally here. They stood on the outskirts of the battlefield, their weapons drawn and their hearts pounding with excitement. The enemy was right ahead of them, waiting for them. They'd heard whispers about their ruthlessness and strength, but nothing could have prepared them for what was about to happen. The group fell into formation when the leader raised his hand. They moved steadily forward, each step bringing them closer to their adversary. The tension was palpable, and no one said anything. They could see the enemy's faces as they got closer, twisted into snarls of hatred and malice. But they were not scared. They'd come too far to be afraid now. The first blows were delivered, and the battle officially began. The roar of battle cries and the screams of the wounded filled the air, as did the clash of steel against steel. It was chaos, but somehow the group managed to hold their ground. Their bodies ached, and their hearts raced as they fought with everything they had. They were well aware that this was only the beginning of a much larger conflict, but they were determined to triumph. They began to notice something strange as the battle progressed. The adversary appeared to be holding back. They were fighting, but it was almost as if they were waiting for something to happen. Then, something happened. The ground beneath them began to tremble and the sky darkened. A massive army appeared on the horizon, marching towards them with deadly intent, and the group looked up in horror. They'd never seen anything like it before. The sheer number of soldiers was overwhelming, and the group knew that they were outmatched. They, however, did not back down. They stood tall, their weapons drawn, ready to face whatever came their way. They knew this was only the beginning, but they were prepared for whatever came next. The battle was eventually won, but at a high cost. Many of their own had fallen, and their wounds would take weeks to heal. Even in the face of such destruction, the group remained unwavering. They were aware that this was only the start of a much larger conflict, but they were prepared. They were prepared to face whatever came their way, no matter how difficult or intimidating. They were a force to be reckoned with, and they would not relent until they had triumphed. The group had fought hard and come a long way, but they were realizing that victory might come at a high price. As they continued to fight their enemy, they saw more and more of their comrades die, and their wounds became more severe. It was a harrowing realization. They'd come so far and made so many sacrifices, but the price of victory was becoming clearer with each passing day. One evening, the group's leader gathered them around the campfire, his face solemn. We've already lost too many, he said, his voice heavy with emotion. And we could lose even more before this is over. But we will not give up. We cannot let their sacrifices go unnoticed. The group agreed with a nod, but the unease lingered. They'd grown into a family, and the thought of losing any of them was almost unbearable. As they fought on, the cost of victory became increasingly clear. They witnessed their friends die in battle and mourned their losses. They also rejoiced in their victories and held each other close. The group became more united than ever before, their bonds strengthened by the realization that they were fighting for something bigger than themselves. They understood that they were all in this together, and that whatever happened, they would face it as a group. But the agony of their losses lingered on, a constant ache in their hearts. They were well aware that each battle could be their last, and that each victory could come at a high cost. The group continued to fight as the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months. They confronted their adversary squarely, never backing down and always striving for victory. In the end, they were victorious. But that victory came at a high price. They had lost many people along the way, and the wounds they carried would haunt them for the rest of their lives. They knew, however, that their sacrifices had not been in vain. They had fought for what they believed in and had triumphed. The group reflected on their journey as they sat around the campfire one last time. They had faced enormous challenges, but they had come out stronger as a result. They knew victory had come at a high price, but they also knew it had been worthwhile. Worthwhile. So, with heavy hearts but heads held high, they said their farewells and parted ways. 
but they would never forget their bond or the sacrifices they had made. They would always be a part of each other, and they would always carry the memories of their journey with them. The battle had ended, but the aftermath had only just begun. The group had won, but at a high price. They had suffered significant losses, and they needed time to process what had happened to them. The group was quiet as they sat around the campfire. The atmosphere was depressing, and the weight of their losses was palpable. They'd lost friends, comrades, and loved ones, and the grief was still raw. They were aware, however, that they had gained something. The battle had changed them, and they now possessed incredible abilities. They were curious about what the future held for them now that they possessed these abilities, and what they could do to make a difference in the world. As they talked, they realized they had a responsibility. They couldn't simply return to their old lives and forget what had happened. They had been given a gift, which they needed to put to good use. They discussed how they could use their talents to help others and make a difference in the world. They knew it wouldn't be easy, but they were determined to give it their all. The atmosphere lightened as they talked. They began to see that there was hope for the future, that they could make a difference in the world, and that they could pay tribute to those they had lost. They knew they'd never forget what they'd been through, but they also knew they'd always have each other. They were a team, and whatever came next, they would face together. So, with a sense of purpose and determination, the group set out to change the world. They used their talents to assist those in need, right wrongs, and make the world a better place. It wasn't always easy, and they made mistakes along the way. But they always got back up, knowing that it was their responsibility to use their powers for good. The wounds began to heal over time. The pain of their losses remained, but it was mitigated by the knowledge that they were making a difference in the world. And as they looked ahead, the group realized that they had been through a lot, but that they had also grown stronger as a result of it. They were a family, united by their common experiences, and they would always be there for each other, no matter what the future held. So, if you can relate to my story please do like. Share, subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest notification.